Hey everybody out there on the YouTube. In this episode, we're going to be talking about creating nested if statements inside of Bash. So to start, we're going to ask the user for a value and we're going to assign that to a variable called money. We talked about this in the previous episode. This is how we print that dollar sign. So when it asks you how much dollars do you have, you put in a number and it'll prefix it with a dollar. It looks like that. And we can condition first by the amount of money. So this is just kind of some review from the previous episode. So you can watch that if you need the details or you can just follow along. We can refer to the variable in quotes as dollar sign money and then use comparison operators you are probably familiar with such as greater than 9,000. Then we say then echo you're rich. And then we end the if statement by saying fi. So we'll run this. We'll say 9,001. It says you're rich. We run it again, we say 9,000, and it does not say you're rich. Well, if we wanted to ask another question after we asked about the money, we can do that. So in the then section, this is only going to be executed if money is greater than 9,000. We could read in another variable, so I'm just going to copy this line here, paste it, uh, clean up the formatting there. And the question we're going to ask is, what is your credit score? We're going to store that credit. Now where you place this is important. If you want to say you're rich first, we're going to move that up a line. That just makes sense. Now if credit is let's say greater than, I don't know, 670, then we could say something like echo, you're approved for the loan. So you can kind of use this as an example to think of how they make decisions about whether or not you're approved on loans based on your net worth and your credit, and then they make that decision. Then we just end this if statement with FI. So far, so good. Let's run it, give it a try. How many dollars do you have? 9,001. What is your credit score? We'll say 675, and it says you're approved for the loan. Now let's try it again. This time we will have 9,001, so that passes. What is your credit score? We'll say negative 10 and nothing happens. So basically the if statement asking about the credit score is only going to be asked if they have even enough money to possibly qualify for the loan. So they need more than $9,000 and they have to have a pretty decent credit score. So you can think about this application now is it starts on a path. We have an if statement, it splits, true, false, and then on that true branch, it splits again, true, false. Now we don't actually have anything for that false branch, but I can show you how to do that here as well. You can specify what happens if it evaluates to false using the else keyword and then what happens. So we'll say something like, you have the net worth, but not the credit score. Keep working on it. So I'll run this, give it a try. How many dollars do you have? We'll say 9,001, so that one evaluates to true, and we go into the inner section. Next if statement, what is your credit score? We'll say negative 1,000. I'm pretty sure you can't have negative credit scores, but eh, we'll go with it. It says you have the net worth, but not the credit score. Keep working on it. So in that situation, we went down the false path, and we hit this line. So it's one or the other, either this or this. Now, anything that goes here, we'll just put something like keep growing that net worth. I don't know, is that one word? So this is after the true and false branch, so it's going to execute either way. So pretty much what happens, if this evaluates to true, this entire section will execute. This first line executes either way. This next line executes either way. Then we hit another branch and we split true or false, and then we come back and this executes either way. So let's try that, we'll just run it real quick. How many dollars you got? We got 9,001. What's your credit score? Uh, we'll just go 650. It says you have the net worth, but not the credit score. Keep working on it. Keep growing that net worth. So this line executed either way. What we put here might not have been the best choice because it kind of sounds like we're responding to a condition like based off of their net worth or whatever. So you might want to put something more general there, but I don't really think this is a great place to put anything anyways. So I'm going to go ahead and just remove that and take it back to how it was. Next up, we're gonna talk about compound conditions. So basically how you could combine this and this, as well as some differences between the two. Hopefully this has been a decent video to nested if statements. This is gonna work similar for all kinds of different structures, loops, 
and so forth. So stay tuned for upcoming episodes. Should be pretty fun. If you enjoy the content, please be sure to subscribe.